six ways to know if a man is truly your husband now this video is for my single sisters future mothers how do you know a man is your husband welcome again to talking to god with noye i still remain your sister and friend noye easy my dear sisters it is his job to find you the bible said that he that finds a wife not she that finds a husband so the first thing you should jot down is that a man will find you a man will also pursue you and yes it's his job to find you and but it is also your own choice to choose wisely it is your choice to be wise and choose rightly and that is why this video is here for you i urge you to see this video to the end as you know the juicy parts are usually at the end of each videos some of you beautiful sisters talk about type of man that is not what this video is all about i'm not here to talk about the height the physical look uh, um the complexion no most times your type is always toxic your type is always the pain in the neck your type is always what has kept you into depression your type is always what has kept lots of women into depression because in most cases your your type is always um i don't know is always pictured from a hollywood or bollywood actor you know social status and so many women have fallen victim of these things so i'm not here to talk about time but i'm here to talk about what god wants for you who is god's ideal man for you again god's ideal man for you may be the laughter of men may be funny to so many persons but all that matters is that the end justifies the means are you happy and are you satisfied I pray that the Holy Spirit gives you understanding, even as you see this video to the end, in the name of Jesus. Amen. We are gradually creeping into the six ways. You just have to be patient. Now, before I talk about this, I talk about the six ways to know if he is your husband. Every prepared man has to have a husband energy. As soon as you come up in contact with him, you feel that husband energy. And what do I mean by husband energy? It takes us to 1 Peter chapter 3, verse 17. And it talks about wives being the weaker vessel and how a husband should honor his wife so that his prayers will not be hindered. It's not among the six ways. I just want to throw a little light on this. So the first thing, as soon as you come in contact with that man, you feel honored. That is the number one husband energy. You feel he honors you, whether he has proposed or not, whether he has told you I love you or not, whether he has poured out his intentions or not, he honors you. That is the husband energy. And it has to be there before he is called your husband. It has to be there before the, the, the wedding. That husband energy has to be there before the name husband is being mentioned hallelujah now the first way to know that your fiance is your husband or that the boy in the street is your husband or the gentleman in your department is your husband is that he will make his intentions known no beating around the bush no sweet talking and the funny thing about sweet talks is that women love sweet talk. You love it when the man is telling you you're the sugar in my tea, you're the this, you're the that. Um, I've never met somebody like you. I see you in my dreams, you know. And most times, the men that say these things, they don't end well. But when you see the perfect gentleman that comes to you, and boom, he's telling you, I love everything about you. 
deep down I feel you are my wife. I believe God is saying this to me that you are my wife. Everything I need in a woman is what I see in you. We begin to complain. Oh, he's too forward. Oh, he's too mean. Uh, he's not romantic. But most times, these are the husband materials. When they see what they want, they lock it down. When they see what they want, they go for it. Just like the lion and his prey. Once the lion sees it, boom, he goes for it. And that is how an ideal man ought to be. So please, jot this down. He makes his intentions known without beating around the bush. Just to add to this, he's not also a double-minded man. When the lion sees his prey, he doesn't look this way or look that way. He moves. Because a double-minded man is not stable. He does not keep to his words. He does not keep to his promises. So when he makes his intention known straight to the point, think about it. The second on my list is that he brings out that feminism in you. He relaxes you into your feminine states. You know, um, I'll have to relax to say this. Um, these days, ladies, uh, we love to be bossy. You know, um, the boss lady, the boss lady. It's okay, I love to be a boss lady. But when you come in contact with your man, trust me, automatically, without you knowing how it came about, you start acting like that little baby again. Maybe when you get to the house, it may dawn on you that, oh, I'm a boss lady. Child of God, your ideal man brings out that feminine state in you. The baby girl that you ought to be, you know, that baby girl life, that baby girl that you truly ought to be. You see him bringing it up. Even when you try to fit those bills, because you just want to, you know, I want him to know that I am not dependent. Child of God, hell no. He will keep you in the place where you ought to be. He will pamper and pet you. He will make you know that he is the man in a calm way. I know that circumstances has made so many women act masculine. Could be their upbringing, could be the way their dad treated their mom, and they're like, hell no, no man will treat me this way. And from age 20, they're already hustling just to meet up, just not to be like their mom. Circumstances, tantrums of life has put so many ladies in that state, that masculine state, that I can do it by myself state. And don't get it twisted. I know the Proverb 31 woman talked about how hardworking she is. I believe in hard work. I'm also a hard worker. But child of God, I know the area I am talking about. When you meet your ideal man, honestly, he wouldn't want you to stress. He would want you to have that money, but for your pleasure. He would want you to spend that money at will. Not because you are compelled to do it. Not because you are so used to spending. No. And this is a man that will always support you without competition. You think he doesn't know you're a boss lady? He knows he's not competing with you. He just wants you to spend at will. And because he has brought out that feminine state in you, it takes us to point number three. You will naturally desire to help. On your own, you will see yourself helping this man. A man that is always there for you. A man that knows you have. And in some cases, you have more than him. Your bank account is so loaded than his. But he doesn't care. He knows his position. He knows what he ought to do. He wants you to live that baby girl life. Just relax and let me do what I ought to do. Child of God, willingly, you would want to help. Again, I want to say to you, child of God, I'm talking from a place of experience. Could not be my personal experience, but I have met people, have interacted with people. Any friend that keeps telling you, I cannot help a man. I cannot support a man. My money is my money, and his money is our money. 
run so fast away from that friend. Marriage is personal. You're not in comparison with another. After the wedding, is the marriage proper? And that is when you come to reality that you're with another person, like another blood, another upbringing. You're with him in the house. If he brings out that feminine state in you, please help him. If he's always there for you, even when he knows you have, he wants to support. You are in need of this and he knows you can do it. But he's like, baby, add this little to the one you have. You can support that man. Women talk too much, but they do worse things inside. Dear sister, women are helpmates. If God knew Adam could procreate all by himself, he said we should be fruitful and multiply. If Adam could do it alone, God wouldn't have created Eve. So if a man has layman, child of God, my dear sister, you can help him make lemonade out of that lemon. I'm not saying you should marry a man that is lazy. No. If there is something in him, if you see that this guy is a hard worker, and he's striving so much, and he's working so much like an elephant, but it seems like the income is like an ant. You can help him. You can be that stepping stone to his greatness. Again, let me add to this in conclusion. If a brother does not have something to help with, he's not your husband. And these are the type that will become jealous of you. These are the type that will feel intimidated by you. These are the type that will bring you down because of complex issue. I'm talking about somebody that has something that you can, you know, add yours in order to bring him up. I hope I am impacting. Help such a man. Help him. Listen to no one. If he has lemon, create lemonade. Hallelujah. And that's point number three. The fourth point on my list of how to know he's your husband is that he will work for you. A man that loves his wife will work. A man that loves his wife wouldn't want her to lack. A man that loves his family would want the best for his family. So because you are his priority and because you and the kids are his priority, he will work day in, day out just to make sure you all are comfortable. When a man loves a woman, he goes to work. This cannot be twisted. He knows you have needs. He knows he also has needs. And he knows the family has needs. And how can these needs be met if he does not work? When there is no food for lazy man. So when a man loves you, he will go to work. Even when it's raining, he will go to work. Even when the sun is shining, he is at work. Hallelujah. Remember the story of Jacob in the book of Genesis? That's chapter 29 from verse 18. You know, just read down. Jacob was so in love with Rachel. And what happened? Rachel's father said, Jacob, you have to work for me for how many years? For seven years. If I can release you to my daughter, if it were today, so many men would give up. But Jacob worked. He did like this. Just for Rachel. So when a man loves you, he will work. And the fifth on my list on how to know he's your husband is that he will bring healing to you. Instead of judging you, he will tell you, drop them here. Drop those worries over here. When it seems so heavy, you shake it off and you'll be fine. He will tell you, wipe your tears. There is light at the end of the tunnel. He will bring healing to your spirit, to your soul, to your body. He will tell you where men say there is a casting down. Trust me, baby, there is a lifting up. 
He will always be there to hold your hands. Oh, sorry for the power outage. He will always be there to hold your hands. He will speak words, words of God into you. He will build your faith. He will remind you that weeping may endure for the night, but great joy cometh in the morning. If he brings healing to you, come on, he is your husband. He always has a way of boosting your self-esteem. True daily affirmations, sending you words of encouragement, even whilst you are at work. Child of God, if he brings healing to you, he is your husband. And the last on my list, um, yes, power outage, I just have to rush this. If he's protective of you, he looks out for you, he always wants to make sure you are fine, you are okay, he protects you from, you know, all form of harm. He protects you even from his immediate family. Yes. He, and this protection I am talking about starts from the dating phase. He ha, you have to start seeing um, um, his protective nature even before he becomes your husband. A man that protects you ought to be your husband. He has to protect you. He has to make sure that nothing comes close to you. And a simple illustration is you could be working with him and he will... You know, you're walking with him by the roadside and there is a switch. He takes you to the, to, the, to the left and he's at the right where the cars are passing. That's a simple example. So a man that loves you will always be so protective of you. God bless you all. I would like to stop here because my, my camera is no more um, bright enough because of the power outage. I would like to stop here. Blessed sisters, I don't know if I've impacted if he has these six characteristics, please say yes to him. Time waits for no one. He could be around you. You could be seeing these signs, but you're looking for the Hollywood, you know, looks. It doesn't matter. All that matters and more are these six signs I have given to you. God bless you all. Stick around. If you're yet to subscribe, kindly click on the subscribe button. For more beautiful videos like this, you can also share this video to family and friends. You have no idea whom you will be elevating. God bless you all. Bye for now.